is not always the dream that counts. Sometimes it is the person you become in pursuit of your dream that really matters. I was given a key to unlock my personal door to success. You have tremendously make a mark on my life to know that if something is deep within, I just need to go out and be a champion. Who am I? Who am I? This is just the beginning. The investment that has been made in you, an average of $2.6 million each, is not just for you. The real challenge comes with how will you pay it forward. Powerful words that lit fire in the minds of all who were privy to Petro Carib Development Fund PDF's Youth Forum, held recently at the Nutsford Court Hotel, under the theme, Celebrating Our Youth. This, this is the first. Um, the purpose is really to bring the students and the employees the, together and to hear inspirational talk from others about how they can achieve greater things in their lives. But very importantly, to build a community, to have students relating to each other, to have people feel that they are not just being given a scholarship or some employment and then abandoned, um, to give them some opportunity to ask questions, to guide their own career development. The forum acted as a platform for participants from PDF Summer Employment and Jamaica 50th Scholarship Programs to share stories of how true champions are born. More and more of our young people from, <clears throat> from the first quintile of the population are doing very well and are matriculating to university. And the big challenge for all of us is to make sure that as many of those as possible are assisted where they need assistance to get to to fulfill their dreams, which are, after all, the national dreams as well, as in this regard. Both programs are of great benefit to the education system because they lift up what is God's greatest creation, the human spirit. Olivia, Sharida and Romaine spoke of their journey. They knew what their lives would have been like without the helping hand PDF so lovingly extended. I am truly grateful to be one of the recipients for the Jamaica 58th Scholarship Award. I must personally thank the awarding body for allowing me this opportunity because otherwise I could not have afforded it. I remember discussing certain options with my mother and saying, oh, you know, I'll get a part-time job and I'll tutor students in the night and anything else. When all these imaginary jobs didn't materialize, I was left with the thought that I'm going to have to walk out. I would have to leave after my first semester. When I was finally selected, I remember feeling overwhelming joy. I felt as if a load had been taken off my shoulders. I felt incredibly blessed. Normally, you will sit at home and you think, what am I going to do in my life? What am I going to do next? This opportunity has given me the key, placed it right here. The bush was in front of the pathway for the door. Chopped out the door, chopped out the bush so I can see the door and say, take this step. And for this opportunity, I thank you. Think that's interesting? Hear from a budding entertainment coordinator who is a believer that no hurdle is too difficult to leap once you have the right backing. Um, my dad is a farmer, my mother sells on Princess Street in downtown and there's no way that I could really fund this scholarship for my immediate family. And so when I got the scholarship, it was a tremendous blessing. When I pull up my uh, transcript online and I look at my balance of zero dollars, it always reminds me of how good God is to me. There was no quieting the voices of the 300 beneficiaries and then some who spoke up from the platform and from the audience. After they spoke, experts on the ups and downs of life took center stage. Yannick Page, CEO of Future Services International, implored the youngsters to think big to make it big and after reaching the zenith to pay it forward. People will tell you the worst things. I can tell you, people say the worst things about you and to you and they will break you down and your obligation is to tell yourself, as Olivia said, repeat to yourself, you are a champion. 
You can do it. It is possible. You can go out there and change the world. Your border is not just Jamaica. The world is your oyster. Timar Jackson, Jamaica's 2014 Rhodes Scholar, pulled the stories from his past, proving that one's failure can be a springboard to success. Despite being raised in a volatile community in Rasta Lane, where I never had many positive role models, despite not being able to read, write, or spell as a third grade student in primary school, despite my poor performance in GSAT and attending a non-traditional high school, despite not having much financial resources, one of my biggest dreams was to one day attend university and to grow and develop myself to the fullest extent possible. I did not stop until I achieved my dream. Form has really impacted my life. Meeting new persons that, you, that can motivate you to do good and just socializing, just hearing other person's testimony and know that you can replicate from it and be a road model and they can be a role model to you and know that if one person make it, why you can't make it? It's within. Just try and be a champion. If we hadn't gotten a chance before, we are now able to meet with the persons who have, you know, been so generous in giving us the opportunity to move forward um, with our career goals, but we also get a chance to see the other persons who have been blessed as well. This forum has exposed me to maybe 80, uh, 80 plus other persons who I can see in the future to help me be a better person in the future. And I mean, the entertainment industry that I'll be a part of, it's not a individual thing, but a partnership. And so in order to drive Jamaica to that place to live, raise family and do business over the next 50 years, I'll surely need other persons along the journey. It's great to see the investment in youth and to see the direct, directing them to particular areas of study. I mean, really, we really want youth to start thinking about fixing Jamaica's pressing problems and how they can do that from a very young age and planning is a big part of the process. So this is, you know, these investments, um, I hope will, Jamaica will see the benefit of them in a few years. Petro Carib Development Fund is committed to the national plan of making Jamaica, or island home, the place of choice to live, work, raise families and do business. And what better way to ensure longevity than through our youth. <music>